Foundation from First Media to be here. It is a very honor to be here. And uh, I think all protocols um, reserved. The African Media Barometer has in its years of existence proved to be an enduring and time tested effective lobby and advocacy tool to foster the exercise and enjoyment of media freedom, freedom of expression, and access to information in Africa. This lobby and advocacy is critical in ensuring and securing a free media operating environment to spare economic development and prosperity in Africa. The ANP as a media freedom and a freedom of expression evaluation tool offers policy makers, civil society, media, and the academia the opportunity to reflect upon achievements, milestones, and challenges that need to be addressed to entrench, to entrench the enjoyment of fundamental rights. <clears throat> These milestones or challenges are determined and measured against the region's respective national constitutions and African grown instru instruments such as the African Charter on Human and People's Rights, a revised declaration on the principles of freedom of expression and access to information. Other relevant declaration and principles include, among others, the African Charter on Broadcasting, African Declaration on Inter Internet Rights and Freedoms. Our special thanks to First Media Africa for the great work and expertise and time spent in reviewing and updating the ANB's indicators to ensure that they are in sync with emerging media trends and developments and the right to access to information in the internet age as envisaged by the new declaration on the principles of freedom of expression and access to information. It is therefore critical to ensure that the findings and recommendations of the AMB do not end with its launches in respective countries but that practical steps are taken to address identified challenges and shortcomings. For us as MISA, this is a, a vital evaluation tool that greatly assists us in determining the state of media freedom, freedom of expression and access to information for informed strategic interventions in pushing for reforms in given certain countries hinged on the findings of the respective regional AMPs. This is so because the AMB's findings are based and benchmarked on our very own African instruments and model laws, such as the African Model Law on Access to Information for Africa. We therefore urge SADA regional leaders and governors to embrace the findings and recommendations of the AMB to foster and entrench the enjoyment of fundamental rights as ambitions and provided for by Africa's very own instruments declaration and principles in respective constitutions. This will go a long way towards the enactment and implementation of democratic media freedom, freedom of expression and access to information laws to spare economic development and prosperity. Thank you.